welcome back to another episode of What the Truck. You got me, Solomon, here, and today we're with Riley at Hobson Motors, and we're going to check out Big Red. Riley, dude, what the truck? Okay, this is our uh, this is our '69 F250 slash F800 crew cab. Uh, the truck started off its life as a two-wheel drive F250 crew cab '69. Uh, we decided we wanted to build the coolest Tonka truck toy crew cab you'd ever seen. Hey guys, this episode of What the Truck is brought to you by Bear Brakes. I want to say a big shout out to them. Thank you guys for working with us and kind of believing in us and helping us take this, these videos to the next level. And it really means a lot to me. I've been working with Bear Brakes for a long time. I've had them on a bunch of my vehicles and that's who I like, that's who I go to. So it's great that now we are working together like this. So if you guys have a project that you're working on, maybe 1965 F100, a 79, they've got kits for everything. So they have from two piston all the way up to six piston. I think it's 11 inch all the way up to 15 inch rotors and their stuff looks amazing. Check these out. These are the brakes that are gonna be going on Clyde. I had them even mill a custom logo because all of the brakes are made out of billet, which is really nice. This one's a 14 inch and uh, I'm super happy with them. So if you guys are looking for brakes, head on over to BAER.com Tom, Bear Brakes, thank you guys again, and back to the video. So, uh, pretty cool backstory. My dad, when he was a kid, had a 60 or a 72 F100. It was red with a white top. And so, when we started building together, it was like, hey, we got to do something, a bump side with that's red with a white top. And so, we landed on doing this thing. Like that. So, pretty cool truck. Um, it's sitting on an on a Freightliner FS65, so a short bus chassis, six ton rear end. It's got a Cummins 24 valve and an Allison uh, 2400 six-speed automatic. Uh, the truck's absolutely a beast. It'll just It's meant to haul on the highway and meant to go fast and you know haul a trailer. Very, very, very cool truck, but a lot of custom metal work, a lot of custom things. We wanted this to look like Ford built an F800 crew cab, but with the flare side from factory. So we want to do a lot of factory looking or OEM plus options. So custom running boards um, and then a custom bed, the biggest the biggest flare side bed you'll ever see. I think it's nine feet long and like five and a half feet wide. So huge. Uh, these rear fenders uh, stretched bigger to match the big uh, F700 front, front clip. But these are two sets of fenders put together. Um, and then there's some bumpers right there, real big, built them out of tube, plate on the bottom, cool little kind of a retro design having some tube, not just a flat, straight uh, plate bumper. But this tailgate's really cool. Uh, custom built tailgate, but the the letters and everything are out of a out of a style side bed. So really, really, really big custom tailgate. Um, and yeah, she's she's really large, so big that I mean I'm six feet tall, six foot one. It's pretty hard to open the tailgate, but really a massive bed. You can fit like two full pallets yeah, in that baby. Yeah, you can put a unibody back there. Ha! <laughs> um, truck. Um, cool shrouds for our our, our tail lights there, but. Just, a, just an absolute beast. Um, six ton rear axle is supported by four link. Really cool custom one inch thick plate four link. Different style than like your regular square tube or round tube four link chassis setup that you see, but big old massive Firestone bags in the rear um, and makes it really pretty drivable because beforehand this truck was on leaf springs and it was the stiffest ride you'd ever felt in your life. So had to get some four link, some airbags, make it nice to drive. Um, really cool um, West Coast Junior mirrors, really nice stuff. Uh, make it possible to drive something this big because you can see. And then, uh, super nice interior. Did King Ranch seats uh, out of like a 2010 F-150. So King Ranch interior, used the center console and adapted it to work. Um, I did a column, vintage air, uh, you know, just all the fixings, all the nice stuff, power seat, you know, power seats, amp steps in the rear, you know. So nice stuff. The, the rear seat is actually the third row jump seat out of an excursion. Really? Um, because you know these crew cabs weren't really big enough to fit two full rows of seats mm -hmm. so rather than putting like the middle row of seats or a bench seat from a pickup truck we took an excursion a, a, a king ranch excursion rear seat and used that nice. so pretty cool uh, but a very nice truck runs and drives and steers i think my favorite thing about it is because this because it's a freightliner chassis it's got the best turning radius of all time we'll have to show it off do a quick U-turn, but I've never driven a vehicle that'll flip a U-turn tighter than bigger. That's awesome. Really and you cool. said it's a, it's a, basically it's a, it's a short It's a short bus. bus. Yeah, it's a short bus. Nice. Did you have to shorten the chassis at all or? No, this is. Uh, That's what it was. This is what it was. Very cool. Uh, so very cool truck. Um, you know, one of the only trucks we have that's not four-wheel drive, but but it's so massive and you know, who's going to go four-wheel drive? We put four-wheel drive on their, their semi-truck, but 
I'm sure you would. I or would. a guy named Blake. Cool. I don't Blake. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. <laughs> it would be cool if it was four or five. But um, it isn't, and it's this, cool anyway. Yeah, but this truck is is the truck that kind of really started our obsession with doing really cool, big, different stuff. It was cool to build something massive with, with really big fenders. It's kind of what started our obsession. With this is pretty rad. Awesome. Let's well, go drive it. Let's do that. Yeah. just rides like a dream it really does ride and drive pretty dang good i mean because it's so big i think it's so stable and so easy to drive like most people think a truck of this of this size would be difficult on the road it's really not uh, it's you know a one finger two finger driver uh, but cruise is good that allison six feet just rows through gears so smooth and uh, nice to have a double overdrive which is pretty sweet but then that that four link in the rear of those airbags makes this thing ride so nice. Even for still having leaf springs up front, it's still just cruising super comfortably. Um, but yeah, you know, those big, tall, semi-truck tires make for a nice, easy drive. It's easy to steer going down the road. I think the truck's on 11 R22.5s, those of you who know semi-tires. Uh, but yeah, I think just cruise is easy. Uh, big old massive turbo makes for wonderful turbo noises. Sounds so good. It really does sound pretty big, dude. And no wind noises, which is nice. Yeah. But yeah, just a fun, easy to drive around, easy to cruise around. It's a little difficult in, in, in traffic only because you're so tall. I remember I was driving next to a new Supra. It was red. But I almost ran him over changing lanes because I could not see him. The truck is so tall. That's why I've got those blind spot mirrors now yeah. so I actually see to my left or right. But besides that, really pretty easy. Fits in a, in a standard size parking spot too. I mean, it's tight, but you can go take it to lunch and all good so okay. it's pretty nice to cruise around in fun to drive not the fastest truck on planet earth because it probably weighs at least 12,000 pounds Whoa. but uh, but has the power to pull your house off your foundation you know so fun easy to cruise comfortable king ranch seats fit in here pretty nice uh, the front seats do i think the back seats a little tight i wouldn't want to be an adult in the back seat for a extended periods of time yeah but, that's any crew cab yeah any old, I mean, any old, not as big. No. Yeah, they're just not as big. Well, we're gonna head back to the compound. We'll see you guys there. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that one. Forgot to film the outro where we were at the nice little overlook, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Big Red's badass. And uh, as always, if you can, like the video. It really helps out. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Check out Riley's stuff. This has been a blast. I just want to say thanks, Solomon, for coming out. This is way cool. We did some other, we did some other what the trucks, and we did a highlight on the whole compound. So you're gonna to want to watch those too. But make sure you subscribe to his stuff because Aww. it's really rad and it's really fun to watch and it's natural and it's fun and it's just really cool trucks. And make sure you guys check out Hobson Motors. Occasionally he gives away trucks and he's always got really cool merch, hats, shirts. I've also got if you go to my website, and that's pretty much it. We're gonna go. Have fun the rest of the day. We'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later.